Hello fellow Genshin players, welcome back. In my recent videos, I covered the 4.6 banner changes and Arlecchino leaks update. Today's video is packed with tons of new leaks, changes on the banner, Arlecchino buff, new animations, and new mechanics. We also have her buff update gameplay. We will discuss all of these in the video, so watch till the end if you don't want to miss anything. But before starting the video, we are so close to the 2K subscribers milestone. If you want the latest Genshin leaks and banner updates first, subscribe to the channel. Let's dive into the video. First, let's discuss the new banner changes. As you guys know, in my previous video, I said Arlecchino, Lini, and Alhaitham Sino or Nilu have chances of their banner in 4.6. And Farina is not coming in 4.6 as she doesn't have her second story quest in the 4.6 beta. But yesterday, we got potential banner leaks that in the first phase, Arlecchino, Liney, Wanderer, and Baiju are coming in the second phase. After that, many of my viewers asked me about this. If you read it carefully, the leaker clearly mentioned that this is heavily subject to change. So don't take this seriously for now until we get more leaks from trusted leakers. Don't worry, I will keep you guys updated on these if I receive any new info. Now, moving on to the Arlecchino buff leaks provided by Hakushin. As I mentioned in my previous video, Arlecchino is going to receive new mechanics where after a charged attack, she can fly. Now we got an update on that. In the 4.6 beta version, Arlecchino got changes. First, let's start with her normal attack. The bond of life consumption is decreased from 0.05 seconds to 0.03 seconds. Arlecchino's charged attack received a buff. When you hold her charged attack, it gains increased mobility for up to 15 seconds at the cost of stamina. If you have watched my previous video, I explained that in Praise of Shadows and The Mask of the Red Death, when Arlecchino has a bond of life equal to or greater than 30% of her max HP, she receives a 40% Pyro DMG bonus. Now, after the update, the 40% Pyro DMG passive moved from Mask of Red Death to Cinders Alone Shall Nourish and Unconditional 40% Pyro DMG while in combat. Clearing Bond of Life, Arlecchino's heals from her E was 100%, now it got buffed to 200%. In the previous version, her elemental skill was the maximum value of the bond of life she can be granted through this method within 20s after using her elemental skill is 80% of her max HP. Now it changed from 20 sec to 35 S after using her elemental skill. Arlecchino C. 1. All reprisals and arrears are mine to bear. When normal attack, Bidden Beheading's Mask of the Red Death hits an opponent, it has a 33% chance of not consuming Arlecchino's Bond of Life, instead granting a Bond of Life worth 5% of her max HP. Now, this can be triggered at most once every 0.1s. After these leaks, I think she's getting better. We also got an update on the leaks that tells she can fly. Actually, she can't fly in the sky as I thought, but she can hover around the ground and her charged animation seems unfinished. After a charged attack, she hovers on the ground and can't attack in this state. And if she uses her charged attack again while floating, it will be canceled. If you want to watch the video on these buffs, it will be available in the description. She also received some facial expressions and extra effects changes in her idle animations. Now she smiles in her animations. And as you guys know, other weapons don't change into a scythe. It got some changes now. The transparent sickle is clearer than before. I think that's good for F2P players, but I still think they should add the special effects of the scythe to work with other weapons also. What do you think about these changes? That's all in this video. If you watched till the end, comment cupcake. Thanks for watching and peace out.